Hi guys, here I will show you how to reflow solder a Cree LED and uh, this time I will heat it from below so this is actually the nicer and more professional way of reflow soldering. As you can also see I disassembled uh, the flashlight, I took the heatsink star of the LED from the flashlight as not to heat it up unnecessarily. So, as before, I am going to take this heat gun and I will heat it from below until the solder melts and until I can remove this LED. Oh, crap. Now it will work. So, as you could see, the LED came off cleanly. I just lost it on my workshop floor, so I will not bother to search it right now. But I have the new LED here. Yes, we can see it. It's an XML2. You can see it on the um, silver plated ceramic base. And on the lower right corner, you see a little black dot. This one marks the negative contact, which on the rear side, you can see it on the top now. This uh, little brown spot is actually the copper. Uh, so the base contacts of the LED are copper, which are pre-tin. They're not really pre-tin, but somehow silver plated and it seems that in the center the plating is very thin and some of the copper is shining through so i wouldn't this consider a defect it's just a discoloration a little one and um yeah here on the solder pad there is enough solder left to make the led stick but uh, to make sure i will add some flux to the led bottom and uh, I will use my homemade flux again. This is some colophonium crystals which I dissolved in alcohol. Here you can see this yellowish color and I will just add a tiny drop to the LED. That is enough just to wet the surface a little. Now I can turn this over and place it on top like this needs a little lining I'll take my screwdriver so right now it's perfectly in the middle and now I can use my heat gun again and heat the whole assembly from below until the solder melts. Oops, okay, this happens because some of the alcohol from the flux is evaporating rather quickly but this is not really a problem
So here on the solder pads, the solder is molten. This means that under the LED the solder is molten as well. And so I can now leave it, blowing a little gently on it. until it has cooled off. Now the LED is sitting firmly on the whole assembly and everything is perfectly aligned. I will show you a shot from above. Like this, so you can see it's sitting perfectly in the center. And this is the flashlight the LED will be going into. It's a Spark uh, ST6, uh, normally the one that takes one AA cell in it. And I remove the reflector and build a custom heatsink. So I get a really floody light, like those zebra light things that don't have a reflector as well. And I actually like this design better. Okay, so now you know how to upgrade the LED of a flashlight in a more professional way. Thanks for watching.